Окей. Большое спасибо за, за, за столь почетная, почетную возможность выступить перед вами и рассказать вам о будущем в эндоскопии. Conventional as we 
holes. With one scope, it's possible to observe normal optical zoom, normal zoom mechanism, which is same as conventional magnifying scope was installed. The principle of endocytoscopic observation is as follows. Subsequent to staining cellular nucleus with adequate dye, such as mechen blue, um, contact endoscope distal end to the mucosa and observe the cellular nucleus. The light from the light guide to is integrated in vivo as the scatter light, then cellular structure of the mucosa can be observed. Next, the uh, observation procedure is as follows. First, return to normal magnify or anywhere observation was completed. Second, drop a small amount of 1% rich and blue stain solution and con conduct endocytoscopic observation at full zoom. Um, <clears throat> Professor Kudo's group reported characterization of cholesterol region using computer aided diagnosis system for NVI endocytoscopy 2016. Um, uh, that this system had the extremely high accuracy when applied to high confidence diagnosis. Therefore, when there is a high confidence regarding diagnosis output, diagnosis deep and detection deep strategies could be adopted in daily practice even by novice endoscopists. So, we JTS started Japan Endoscopy Database Project in 2015. The aim of this project is to construct a dream database to benefit both doctors and patients. Each medical institution will input images and data of patients in the performing endoscopy file system. And Japan Endoscopy Database will take data from this system to compile database. Uh, when it is fully operated, for Japan, JET will grow to become the world a leading database with approximately 14, 14 million additional data every year. So we JETs are conducting data cleansing and sorry, development of artificial intelligence by National Institute of Informatics, NYI, in co uh, cooperation with WeJGS lead to the application of endoscope screening. WeJGS are now doing data cleaning, uh, statistical analysis, and optimization. And we secure quality of imaging organized clinical studies. For the first trial, National Institute of Informat uh, Informatics had been verifying original images. The uh, application of AI uh, diagnosis currently having developed. Cases have been strictly selected from cases of gastric cancer, and marks are being made on 2,000 cases. These marking can be used by the AI system as supervised learning images. At the moment, we are making markings on the region location of about 2,000 cases. To help computers learn, we found out that the accuracy exceeded 90% when the re uh, reading of nearly 1,000 cases are completed. A uh, matching program for, for pathological data was uh, in connection with Japanese Society of Pathology. Uh, in this process, 
One of the difficult problems facing is making personal data uh, anonymous. Last year in the nature, dermatologist level classification of skin cancer was deep neural networks. This uh, paper demonstrated AI capable of classifying skin cancer with a level of competence comparable to dermat dermatologists. So uh, I think artificial intelligence can drastically change the way we perform intelligent tasks. AI will outperform both of detection, classification, and decision tasks. By the way, I will change my uh, topics. This is a 3D system, endoscope product roadmap. Uh, 3D system is expected to be useful for especially GI procedures, as same as for surgeon. Ability to insert safely and effectively, especially for colon, improvement of detection rates such as rat lesions, improvement of accuracy at qualitative diagnosis by grasping at the 3D shape of the lesion. So, this figure shows the progress of the endoscopy from the national camera fiber video magnifying endoscopy high vision and the treatment IFC, polypectomy, EMR, EMC, EMRC, ESD, and point full sickness dissection. Uh, as you can see easily, both diagnosis and therapy endoscopy have been developed in parallel like this. This is a fusion of diagnosis and therapy. So, uh, so in the future, um, the era of precision medicine will come, such as molecular imaging and endoluminal surgery supported by evolved robotics technology, by IoT, information communication technology, and AI. My colleague, uh, Dr. Mitsunaga and Dr. Kobayashi uh, published the article on cancer cell selective in vivo near inferior port immunotherapy, so called PIT, targeting specific membrane molecules, PIT therapy. The characteristic of PIT is target specific tumor cell damage <laughs> compared to other treatments such as radiation therapy, radiation therapy, RK and PDT, which cause substantial damage to normal cell. So R H1929, that is molecule targeted drug cetimaxib and fluorescent pro antibody binding compound, compound tarsion is administered. 24 hours before irradiation was near infrared light. In the state, phase one study was conducted at three facilities like this. And five patients of eight cases had response. Only, only one just treatment, which means more than 60% had a response rate. Um, these cases were ineffective in surgery or radiotherapy. Left side uh, slides of the CR, complete remission, and right side partial response. Now, phase two registration of clinical trials, head and neck cancer, are completed in the state, and phase three study has just started. In Japan, the phase one study starts next month. So, innovation of endoscope therapy has been repeated. Approximately 15-year cycle, 
that means 1968, her building was developed, 1983 EMR, 1998 ESD, and 2009 OM, 2013's so-called sample surgery. So, in 2020's era, I expect robotic technology assisted and luminal surgery. Uh, since ESD was developed in Japan, new procedures such as Lex, Lex mineral laparoscopy and endoscopy corporate surgery, and also news, news mina non exposed endoscope wall invasion surgery, and clinic developed by Professor Inoue. Especially in Japan now, um, Lex has been becoming more and more popular for gastric tumor in Japan. This method was approved by the investment by Japanese government. Um, Dr. Pastrusia named three uh, third space endoscopy. Third space means uh, um, some causal space between mucosa and muscle layer. We are, we are now doing the poem and poet. So, Professor Haru Inoue conducted the world's first case of poem, September 8, 2008. Next paper, Professor Inoue. So, now the, uh, this year, 10th anniversary of poem. Next paper, Professor Inoue. Um, introduced this 10 years history. So why has poem become so popular? The poem is easy to learn, low complications, excellent design, and also endos of its satisfaction. Sound, sound. Just about folding paper. This is a simple demonstration a, of another surgical system, system. system. It's called Da Vinci, and it allows surgeons to perform urology and gynecology procedures in the most delicate and complex areas through tiny surgical openings. Da Vinci is the future of surgery. Tell them. So, we have been conducting the, the uh, development of endoscopy robot. Do the new manipulator can fix the area in place, enabling better vision of the region, leading to easier short operation. I think this system will change the current operational environment where we have to, have to say the tip of the endoscope up and down, left and right, and also move the vision and the knife at the same time. And this is a Harvard Group's data. They are forced to consider three modular solutions that are low cost, generalizable, and potentially disposable. This led us to conceptualize the idea of snap on robotic module that interfaces with existing equipment. When the motion study was performed, um, the rich data set was acquired that taught a lot about the technical challenges of facing endoscope performing ESD. These technologies belong to the new field of cybernetics, in which Professor Sankai has a pioneer. This is the Japanese uh, rehabilitation rehab rehab robotic technology, the same ideas. Also, this is a new technology. The sense of touch. Feedback, a sense touching something in the virtual field to user. Now, various type of devices are being developed, such as rock type, a shape, deep shape, or exoskeleton device in order to reproduce real touch. In medicine, virtual reality with eyesight has been put to practice use. Also, we can use soft robots as well as the mechanical structure for endoscopic robots. 
One of the program is operability at deep insights or in the terms of the law. Moving away from robots that walk or look mode to robots that can grow like plants. Since imaging device can be inserted deeply and even at the threshold tip with soft robotics, and the soft robot will be made use of effective results. And that allows us to grow to very long length and can follow very convoluted paths through very difficult to reach. On this slide, the comparison labor surgery and endocrine therapy, and also process of the development. Now we are conducting integration with endoscopic surgery. So, again, I would like to say, in the future, endocrine surgery is supported by robotic technology by IoT, information communication technology, and AI. Which was originally developed as a military robot, which Dr. Bang in Japan acquired last year. In the medical field, biotechnology has been mainly focused so far, but from now on, technology using a deep learning by AI will be applied for disease prediction and self application. So now, is revolution once in hundred years in the automobile industry. The main power source changed from gasoline to electricity. Evolution of information technology encouraged automatic operation to be realized soon. So technology innovation accelerates the need of this continuous decision. Possibly that the technique or business way that has been developed over the years become obsolete suddenly. So our courage to make break with pass and step forward in the new direction is necessary. Uh, this is a Professor Noel House uh, video. The power of spiral endoscope is unique that is incorporated user operated motor to rotate power spiral tool which is mounted. And this system control unit monitors the amount of torque which the rotary, uh, rotating spiral assess accessibly apply to tissues by observing the system force gauge. So, at the beginning of my presentation, I showed major transition for these 30 years. As the future evolution of all imaging, I believe in automated diagnosis, in clinical practice, and also 3D 4K system, molecular imaging, as I mentioned, photoimmunotherapy, and also robotics with IoT, ICT, and AI. So, I will like conclude. The progress of magnifying endoscopy with IEE, microscopic endoscopy, and new technologies has made endoscopic histopathology and standardization of diagnosis with IEE has been realized all over the world. Also, as I mentioned, AI-assisted endoscopy is on the clinical horizon. Novel optical imaging technology offers opportunity to utilize the see and treat paradigm, potentially leading to improved patient care and cost reduction. So we are only limited by our imagination and our will to move forward into the endless, endless possibilities of the future.
So, thank you very much for your kind introduction. Finish. <laughs>